flung in the air, Frampton does get that knock to Josh Dacos. Little fumbly in the square, and they thought about rushing it. There's a mad scramble, about 15 over it, and holding the ball is a free kick to the Saints. And now all of a sudden, Crouch back to his old home ground, kicks the opener after a bizarre start. Averaging just over 30, which is career best. It's early days. His previous best was when he was here playing for Adelaide in 2019. It was a best and fairest year. Now we get our first look at Collingwood. Chris with the handball to Mitchell, who has been hitting the scoreboard this year a little more than he has previously. And that's a fine response from Tom Mitchell. This St Kilda's defensive action looking so solid early. Marshall provided with the tap, but Adams... Oh, his way through. Elliott had more success, and Hill with a reflex kick is a good one. Wanganeen Miller, the combat was in the air against Johnson. Sinclair takes territory. Philip Pope dumped it across to Crouch. Didn't have time to get set, so just a kick with hope. Murphy, you know he'll go back time and time again. So they keep going at that rate. It's going to be difficult for St Kilda to score. Some people hate the insufficient intent rule, but that was it working to perfection there. Murphy, good grab. So it'll be interesting to hear what the explanation of that is. Josh Dacos down the line over McCreary's head and he split the middle. He had my check and McCreary and Hunter Clark came up with it. And oh, 50. Oh, so he's got to be brought within range here. And he's putting together a pretty good season. Any struts can start to put together a pretty good game if he slots this. And he does. Scores 11. And he's worked over it. Crouch forward. Marshall posting up, but turning quickly and driving it to Higgins, who got out the back. And that might be the method. Five goals last week, four the week before. And he's just getting started in Adelaide. He's got the energy to celebrate. <laughs> Had to go and compete for it. Hits the deck, gathers the crumb, looks up, tackled. He fended a little. The umpire let him off. Ball out of play. Stocker wrapped him up. Nice tackle, but he's hurt him. Jamie, yeah, he's had a tough last 10 minutes. He got winded a few moments ago, and now hopefully he hasn't hurt his shoulder. Or... Oh, oh yeah. his head, maybe. Burns to the outside. Patton's kick was wiped out immediately. And the Pies can spring forward. Mitchell, Hoskin, Elliott drilled it oh. low. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of fortune. <laughs> Meyer check. Been such a wonderful... And reliable footballer for the Pies. And he ties the game up at the Adelaide Oval. Play on! Johnson also was Play in the on. pack. Couldn't get over Marshall. Chris fired out. McCreary got it working and gives the Pies back the lead. Play on! Scouts the 50. Caminiti coming, as was Owens, but their teammate in front beat them to it. No, he does lack in confidence, and he's backed it up so far this year. Five goals won in four games. Saints need this, and he provides, and he's passionate too. Adams, Josh Dacos. It's a fair bit on it. It's a good spot. And Wilkie again. Hands magnificent. Doesn't think he can take it on. Majacek was on the same wavelength. Brody Majacek. He's got it working absolutely perfectly. And the Pies' lead is nine. It's their biggest advantage in the game. Ended up scrapping it with his own teammate. Stocker's handball. Butler on the turnaround. Caminiti, yes! What a moment in this young man's career and his life, in fact. Caminiti, yes! Gets it home. They're very disciplined to run back and support the defence, aren't they? Cordy, Johnson, both got a piece of it. Side bottom collects. Just blasts it back to a good spot. Bobby's under it. Bobby's got it. Before you knew it, Dacos had given it to Pendlebury. And Maynard had thumped it to full forward. And the Saints are on alert again in this impassable St Kilda defender. And then a brick wall. They fight through. Clark again to half forward. Wood. Time. Space. Teammate Caminiti!
And it comes down to this one quarter of football to sort it out, to kick the difference. Ball knocked down immediately to Adams. Crisp, Colling with the clearance. See if they can grab some early momentum. Wow. Bobby Hill feeds it inside. Kinnaman. Will he take his moment? He does. Welcome back, Jack. Murphy is terrific then. Came forward to defend. Yeah, another futile kick on the way out. Nick Dacos. Johnson Majek. All I had to do was sort out who was going to take it. St Kilda need to be high alert. There's only so much this St Kilda defence can stand. And Johnson. Hill. Summed it up. It's a procession now. Captain to his own advantage. He's got it now. Stocker stalks. Ginnivan around his body. Elliot dances his way past Wilkie for the knockout blow. Over. And a quiet day for him. Just seven disposals. Wanganee Malira. Now Mason Wood. Thought about the long. Took on the short. And Maynard with the infraction there. Been a tougher afternoon for Jack Higgins, but he still remembers how to kick a goal. Wow. Owens, Filippo knew exactly where to give it to Burns, dribbles it through, and now it's back to 12. So Frampton gets up, one minute left, dumps it into space. Sinclair pounces, Hunter Clark came off half back and was free and sends it toward Caminiti and Quainor. Ball comes up to Crouch. He gets a chance at goal. Oh, and guess oh. what? <laughs> Can you believe it? Got to get a man each. 28 seconds. Yeah. Chris plays traffic cop. They need it on the wing. They've got to win it back. The draw is probably the best they can get. Howard is going to give them a shot. Crowd on their feet. Is there a light to kill the mark? No, Elliot, a blind handball. Owens, absolutely chaotic. More, they close, they close, and the siren. They're going to need a bicycle kick out of mid area. They're going to need a free kick. Oh, what a scare. And gather round finishes with a magpie victory. A very big fright late delivered by the Saints. But the Magpies have prevailed and Anzac Day is going to be massive.